Nissan Quest 2005. This is the SE edition with the full electric pack. Quick ones around the outside. You can see the 17-inch uh, alloy wheels, the blacked-out windows, mud and snow tyres on the back, proper winter tyres on the front. Three litre, three and a half litre, sorry, 24 valve V6 engine. That'll do nicely. Flush already in, ready to uh, change the oil and filter. KNN filter came with it. Headlights are a bit yellowed, but we can deal with that with Xeropol. A couple of dings and dents, nothing really to worry about. So inside we have full leather trim, seven seats, all with headrests, all with three point seat belts. Full electric pack, climate control, cruise control, electric memory seats, electric opening rear windows back here. These ones open up electrically. Helps with the ventilation. Got a full glass package as well so we've got a proper sunroof tilt and slide over the driver and then we've got four more glass sunroofs over each of the passengers. You can see those slightly better from inside. We've got the DVD package with two DVD screens. There's one there, another one further back. DVD players in the bottom of the passenger seat there. Armrest on all four of the front seats, so captain's chairs officially. All very nice. Electrically adjustable brake pedal and accelerator pedal, comes and goes. Parking brake is foot operated, makes it nice and easy to use. Here's the real party trick with the uh, full electric pack. Need to get in the boot, not a problem. Press the button on the remote, the boot is open. Rather sweet. Seats all fold down completely flat into the floor. There's a big well there with the moment with some uh, junk in it. But the back, very back row of seats will fold down into there. And then the middle row of the seats fold forward so you've got a nice flat load space. There's a button on the side here with the 12 volt accessory. There's a button there for closing the boot as well as using the remote. As if that's not enough, the side doors also open by remote control. Again, they have a button to close them up, gives us a better look inside. Cup holders on the rear seats, fully reclinable. Armrests, captain's chairs, lovely. One DVD screen and the rear seat DVD screen. A couple of cubbies up here as well for oddments trays. A second DVD. DVD controls in the back. Heater controls in the back wireless headphones pretty much fully specced the only thing it doesn't have is the uh, factory sat nav but as we know factory sat navs go out of date so quickly there's the other door going now and all done from the remote control or from the buttons in the car or if you want to be really energetic you can just press the uh, press the lever and do it the old-fashioned way there we go other side closing up Tilt down on the uh, offside mirror for reverse, that's selectable so that if you uh, don't want it to do that, if you want to see where you're going, that's all good. Rear fog light, doesn't come as standard on one of these because it's an American issue. That I believe is out of a Vauxhall Roadster and because the existing reversing lights have been turned into yellow indicators, there's a reversing light built in there, so all good. Roof rails on the top. Pretty much everything you could have specified from the factory, as I say, barring the uh, factory DVD, uh, factory sat now. But there we go. Headlights will get polished, get it registered over here, job done.